So I just wanted to make a quick video on this tunnel bore that I made with Dano Hammer, aka Batman and Flash Maximus, who's just awesome at Rednet and everything. So if you need help, ask Flash. Don't ask me or Dano, ask Flash. In fact, if you really, 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 really want help, ask Torched Core. So T O R C H E D C O R E Torched Core. He's the best guy for anything, believe me. He's 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 always going on about how he loves to help people out with MFFS stuff and tunnel bores, so yeah, ask him. Uh so basically it's is powered by a five by five full auto fulmination generator. It's protected by two interdictions. We got uh, an array of cubes, so maximum six megajoules per tick, and then the backup five thing behind. We got a pulser which isn't actually pulsing. Well, it goes off once a minute, supposedly. Um, and it's just got a lot of coercion drivers and stuff. Now, I would highly recommend against building one of these because this is 32 by 64. If you work it out, that's 2,100 transition panes. So, if we look at the recipe for transition panes, so if you times everything you see individually by 2,000. So, the recipe, assuming that you have all the sub recipes, would be 8,000 iron ingots, 6,000 fluix dust, 2,000 conversion matrices, and 2,000 ME cable just to make the front. But if we look at the sub recipes, it gets even more ridiculous. And then if we look at the sub recipe again, it's just, it's just, it's, it's just a waste. It's just so much iron quartz. It's just, it's not even worth making. Oh, look at that! Look at that lovely cape he's got. It's not quite as good as his pre prestigious power armor, but uh, yeah. So it's literally just a shell of reinforced concrete, stuffed full of coercion derivers. Because why not? And a random electric chest. So if we just take a look out the front. Is that on? Oh, never mind, just moved. So if we take a look out of the front, never mind, it's just pushed me back. This is pretty much what it looks like. It's literally just a ginormous TV screen. Just 2,000 transition panes all stacked together. Uh, if we wait about five minutes, because because it's so big, it just takes quite a long time to move the entire thing. Well, this could take some time. When it moves, the, the the benefit of using transition panes is when this does eventually move, it will. Oh, I forgot about that. Basically, inside we have three projectors which stabilize in front. This was a another thing that Torched Core came up with. Basically, it just sucks up all liquids and it gets rid of oil if there is any. So when this thing does eventually move forward it will instantly destroy the 2000 blocks that it's facing but by the looks of it it doesn't want to move so just have to wait although saying that I have a feeling we're going to get squished if I sit in here about to move forward or 
it should move forward. Oh, there we go. See, the second it moved forward, all the blocks disappeared simultaneously. As you can see, they're all gone. So, yeah, this is why you should make a transition one, but don't make it so big because it's just impractical. And you might get a slap on the wrist from certain female V managers who don't like you. Well, they won't like you after you build one, I can tell you that much. And as you can see by chat, uh, it's been, makes the server lag horrendously. So just don't build one. It's just to show off because it's going to be teared down. So look, look at that big spike. Anyway, thanks for watching. Na 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 na